Rachel with Porter Valley Ranch. We are doing a field trip today to a lavender farm in Mounds, Oklahoma, which is only about 25 minutes from our house. And we're here with Skip and Suzanne Honeyman, and they're gonna show us what they're doing at their farm. So let me give you a little history about Honey Creek Farm. We were um, interested, we were kind of living in the city. I actually grew up uh, with my grandparents on a farm, doing farm work. Uh, Suzanne was actually a city girl. Uh, we spent about, oh, a whole year driving around, about 30,000 miles worth of uh, driving and found property finally after that, and that's what Honey Creek was. Uh, if you look across the road here, that's what Honey Creek looked like. It was uh, nothing but a bunch of trees, and we've uh, spent a lot of time and a lot of effort uh, clearing things out and building something that we could actually plant some some kind of crop in so we could have basically have a farm. There's a lot of native cone flowers here on, the, in, on this property and we, we, we thought boy echinacea that's the way to go we can do this deal so we uh, tilled soil amended the soil made a really nice bed captured all the native seeds planted them and that's when we found out that coneflowers grow where coneflowers want to grow. Uh, so we, uh, we were already growing lavender and we liked it. We knew there was a lot of things you could do with lavender. So we started to take a serious look at, at growing lavender on a, on a kind of a, a larger scale. Uh, we started about, oh, 2014, 2013, something like that. Um, we are actually a member of the United States Lavender Growers Association. Um, we joined that in 2015 and started planting, started planting lavender. We grow, we actually grow um, 11 or 12 different varieties of lavender. They're all different. All the flowers are different. All the, the aromas are different. The plants are different. Some are large, some are small. But um, it, it's, it's something that once you get it up and going, you, it kind of takes care of itself once you, once you have it up and going. So we, our, our whole focus now is to continue to develop new lavender uh, products using and utilizing uh, lavender, the lavender we grow. All, all lavender is an antiseptic. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of different things that you can do with it, a lot of different products that you can that you can uh, make with it. So we have a lot of fun doing it. We love teaching. We love to have people come out and visit. Uh, we're we're up on a ridge. It's a Coffeeville formation. Um, we can see for 30 miles to the east. Uh, it's uh, we're in the process of building some cottages that people can come out and stay overnight and kind of experience the farm, experience the view and. And it's a very quiet, quiet place, even though we got some mowing going on now, but it's uh, usually pretty quiet. So, um, had a lot of people out this year, uh, a lot of photographers taking pictures, many in, in the lavender with uh, families and couples and babies, uh, and they have a lot of fun doing it. So, but then yeah. all these are going to turn completely purple on the end. Yeah, they'll, they'll flower out and all I that. Like, we'll probably harvest before like then, because mm -hmm. we, we actually use the buds. Yeah. Oh, I'm helping harvest. You didn't oh, yeah. hear yet. You I didn't do. hear this yet. Are you, are you, you got, helping? You got an intern. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you, are, you're interning? I'm interning. So you know how we do this, right? On harvest morning. Have you, have you, she you told know, me the grab and the... But she brought, she brought the sickle. So okay. we need a yeah. demonstration uh, okay. for this. Yeah, here's the sickle. So this is, this is why I'm hesitant to let anybody, because that thing right there will go right straight to the bone really, really fast. <laughs> and and like, if, you don't, if you don't really know what you're doing, <laughs> yeah. you it's go. real easy to go. Right. <laughs> no, mm -hmm. no, don't even look at it. I mean, I got, don't my, even look at I got it. myself with a cheese grater the other day <laughs> yeah. pretty good. Well, this, this is like... <laughs> don't worry, this, I'm going to be great this, at harvesting big, now. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's like, well, there's nothing really here to harvest, but... We can go down to the culinary. Yeah, we can go to the culinary. You want to go yeah, to the okay. culinary? Oh, so this Opposite intern 101. This is, this is all Provence right here. You're going to go like that. Mm-hmm. And you're going to take your sickle and take it down like that. And you're gonna pull it straight up, not towards your hands, straight up. <laughs> okay. Is you this my audition? You ready? You ready, guys? Mom's <laughs> gonna do it. Here she <laughs> goes. This is my audition. She's doing it. <laughs> okay. All the way down. All the get way a down. Good bundle. Get a good bundle. I mean, is that a good bundle? I got a little hand. <laughs> okay. Good farmer's hand. You want? Yeah. You want to do? You want to do like that? Okay. Okay. And see where these things end. Mm -hmm. Right there. Oh, right, right, That's right. where you're going. Right That's what there. mine looks like right now. Just that. Okay, and I'm gonna straight. saw or I'm gonna slice. No, no, straight up. Pull up, straight, straight up. There you go. Got it. See, no one was injured. Mm. I got it. Ah, 
Sorry. Yeah, take that yes. home with you. Oh, yeah. Kai said, can we get some to hang up off my bed? Oh, oh are those blackberries? Uh, they are. Uh -huh. You want some? Watch it. They're all over Watch me. Gotta come out blackberries yeah. are good. <laughs> That's what my dad was like. Is you going to grow a weed? Like, yeah. Hey, commercial. Blackberries are good for you. you that is a mess. This I is love blackberries. Uh -huh. I love the giant. So see how, I mean, see how big? Boom, mm. boom, boom. So the stuff up there, I'm like, man, I don't get why it's good one too. Okay, so, see this right here? Oh, I guess we can see too. Huh? Watch this, watch. So we're going to, we're going to, we're going to take this, uh -huh. right? And we're going to take just like, not like that. Right. We're going to do like this and get it down to there. Okay. And then you put um, the enzyme or the root stimulator hormone. on it. Like a rooting hormone? Yeah. Okay. And put that on there and then you put them in. What we do is, is grow them in Ellie, what's called Ellie cups. That, that's an Ellie pot. Ellie pot. They're called Ellie pots. So you put the... So, so what we do is we take um, like a wire or a piece of pencil or something like that and poke a hole in that. Put that after you put your root stimulator on. Put it in there. And then I, what I do is I'll take that, that whole thing after I got it planted, and I'll take a, a watering, like that black container over there, and I'll set it in it and let it soak water from the bottom. Mm -hmm. And then I put everything in that greenhouse is in a water bed. So everything gets watered. I actually water the water bed, and then it, it's what Can waters I put this everything. Over my bed? So, so I wake up? You need a, a ton of garlic. Well, it's a bulb under there. I want to buy right. it, it but. But what do they do with these things? You they just cook with them. Cut the, them up and like a and scallion. Saute with them. I yeah. want to buy it. But I mean, take you, how, I mean, these are. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Can we yeah. eat these? You can try it, but it's spicy. I've had to slowly wean my entire family into onions. <laughs> oh, they don't like onions. <laughs> you I still don't. I'm just afraid of spicy. One. What'd you get? A brownie. Yeah. That has um, lavender and juice that has lavender. Wow. Lavender. We make all kinds of products for ladies. Mm -hmm. Ladies love a lot of this stuff. Yes. And it, I mean, you look at the, the you know, the, the whole industry and there's lots and lots of stuff for ladies. Right. And I'm like, well, but the guy's got to have something too. Mm -hmm. And so I basically take organic peppercorns, whether black or white, and then I'll add either, I'll add lavender or lemon and lavender in different ratios. And, and so you, you basically have, whatever you put it on, you have this, it, it starts with the pepper flavor and, it, and, and then a little bit of the lemon and then it finishes with lavender. So it's like eggs. I mean, anything, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know. And it, it's, it's okay with beef, but it's like, Kind of right, like pork like and, and chicken and, and, and uh -huh. vegetables and things like that. It really stands out. So that's ice that's cream. Cool. We we do make lavender ice cream. Uh huh. I yeah. know that's yeah. like a very like yeah. bougie thing yeah. to do. Yeah. yeah. So we have a recipe for that. We have. I mean, we we try all kinds of lavender products. Lavender chocolate chip cookies. Lavender lemon cupcakes. Um, it goes on and on. And on. Okay, so we have actually been here about three hours and I told him we wouldn't even be here very long, but it was just such great conversation, such great education, something that we will definitely be taking with us. Um, we learned more than lavender. We really connected with Suzanne and really got some great confidence and words from her. Um, but it's just an awesome place. So if you're in the area and you can stop by, it's definitely worth the visit. There's so much that they offer. They have photographers that come out. They can guide you through the planting process. They have um, treats in their store that you can eat, that you can use. Jet talked us into an eye pillow. I got some of their starts that they've propagated. We got some lavender that we harvested that um, is gonna go above Jet or Kai's bed. They'll probably take turns and lots of things so they had brownies they had lemonade we have done it all and it's been an amazing evening with with the honeymen so hopefully if you're in the area stop by you will not regret it you will have a fantastic experience